Today we're in Yosemite National Park, one of the most beautiful places on earth. I've been working with a number of leaders today, and I gotta tell you, although we've been working all day, I'm excited, and I wanted to take some time just to talk with you. I've come to this conclusion. Leaders uh, tend to be very aware of what they're not good at, but they are not nearly as aware of what they are good at. And as I think about that, I think it's an important thing to realize for most people it's not just trying to get them to believe in themselves or to believe what they could do. For most people it's what they have to stop believing about themselves that is as important. I may believe I have the potential to do great things but there might be something else holding me back. And almost every leader that I've worked with over time did not believe that they had the ability to do what they do when they were asked to do it. And so I want to talk about that for just a minute. Because what would you have to stop believing for you to be able to do the things that you feel you can do? So I've got this one idea over here. This is what I have got to, to believe in. I could do these things. I could have this vision of the future, things like that. But what would I have to leave behind? Maybe I'd have to leave behind that you're just, um, you're not smart enough. You don't have the right experiences. You, you didn't grow up in the right place. Maybe you have the wrong accent, whatever it may be. What would you need to stop believing right now to be able to move forward? Think about it for a second. What would you have to leave behind? Now, it might be that the only way you can make a difference is in a role like this one. It might be that you can only make a difference if you have this type of degree. It might be, it, j just pick one. But the idea is we believe things all the time that aren't true. What would you have to stop believing so that you could have access to the life that you really want? 